Hey guys, it's your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new here, you are welcome, guys. As always, this is a collective read. And don't forget, guys, I am giving away a gift basket. Um, like on Christmas, I'm going to pull the names on Christmas. And the way of entry is, there's a video down here somewhere. <laughs> it's down there where you have to uh, put Christmas on there. Like, like the video, put Christmas, and then go to my Instagram page, which is your inner chakras as well, and put Christmas on that. You'll see it. it's another video in there as well. So you have to do that, and then I'll take the names, guys, and I'm going to do a live pull on Christmas, and then you're going to get this huge basket. It's going to have my bath salts. It's going to have crystals in there. It will have uh, some deck of my cards. It will have Palo Santo. It will have sage in there. It will have some other stuff in there. Like It's, it's going to have everything. You'll be happy. Uh, a t-shirt. It'll have a few things in there from me that I think you'll enjoy. All right, guys, but this reading here, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, is what is your person thinking about you right now, right? What are they telling their friends or their closest person, if anybody? If they're talking about you, what are they saying to their person now about you, okay? So what is your person thinking, doing, or saying about you right now? They're telling them that they can see that you're very busy, that you're busy working, that you could be carrying a lot of burdens. They think you're carrying a lot of burdens, that you have a lot on your plate, like you're dealing with a lot right now, but you are in your creative space. They probably said that you're busy working on a lot of things. You have a lot going on right now. Um, they're also telling them that they don't think you love them anymore, but you they baby, you they ten of cups, you they everything. They don't think you love them anymore. They feel like they're telling them that even though you, you took your love back or they think that you took your love back, it's like they're not going anywhere. They say they're not going anywhere. They say you my ten of cups, like I'm not going anywhere, right? That's a beautiful thing. They just see you busy right now, which is good. They're watching you, though, and they still want this new beginning with you. Like, they're just watching you, but they're telling their people that they still want you. They they still want, they're willing to take the deep of faith with you guys. All right, what else, Spirit? So what else is your person telling your, their friends, their closest friend, their, their closest confidant? They think you cut them out because they see you They see you being happy without them right now. Even though they know you're busy, they see you're happy without them. So they think you cut them out and that you're headed on a different path. They don't, they're, they're unsure what you're doing right now. Because they do, they want this partnership with you. You make them happy. They just don't know what path you're going to take. Is what they're telling their friends. Here they are again. They said they're not going anywhere with this Two of Cups. This is a tower in reverse. Like, when it comes to you and how they feel about you, this Ten of Cups, it's like they know how they feel about you. They're not second guessing it. It's like they're telling their person that you are, like, that's my Ten of Cups. That's my Ten of Cups. They're also telling them that y'all not having sex right now, right? <laughs> they're probably not having sex right now. They may think that you have a sex with somebody else, maybe, because they know they're not touching you. They're telling their person that you may not, you may not even be talking right now. You may not be in communication. They think that they, they think they lost you. They're telling the person they think they lost you. They see you as the queen of pentacles, like very abundant. And that you're focused. They don't think that 
you see them as their everything, but they don't want any other offers. Like they don't want, without you, they're not happy. Without you, their sign is upside down. They don't want any other offers is what they're telling their person. And they say they don't care. They don't care what people say or think about them. They have no regrets about how they feel. It's like you are their ten of cups and they're not going anywhere. You two may be fine right now or maybe you're just really, really busy right now. And sometimes like sometimes when people get into a fight or a disagreement, if one person is really busy, it's easy for them to just stay busy, you know, instead of getting into the fight or texting, calling back and forth. It's like they can just zone out and stay so busy that I'm not mad at you. It's shit. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not mad at you. Like, like that. But they're telling their person that they love you. But they think you're busy. They think you have a lot of options. What else they tell them? They said they're not losing any sleep over this baby mama drama. They must have some baby mama drama because it's an empress in reverse. So they said they're not losing any sleep about it because they said they know they put an ending to that already. So I don't know if you two ended something over baby mama drama and you think they didn't end it. But he's telling his people, look, like, I'm not sweating this because I'm not losing no sleep over this, over my baby's mama. Like he put an ending to it. Or they put an ending to it. Yeah, there's the world card in reverse. Death card, world card in reverse. They put an ending to it. They took a knee there. And then they went through temperance. Like, I don't know if you thought your person was still dipping in and doing it, but they're telling their person that they're not. They said they're not losing any sleep when it comes to you. So they've been hermit. They've been thinking about coming forward. Not a pentacle. So they're coming slowly. They're coming back. They just had to go through some things and learn some lessons. Everybody's learning life lessons. They learn some lessons with this lovers in reverse. They ended, they cut off communication with some ex-lovers so they can come back and balance things for you. Hmm. They want to come and fix things for you? What else is going on here, Spirit? They know it's going to take all the strength. <laughs> this is the emperor. I guess they're making that decision to come and fix things. Yeah. They swimming away to common water. Here they come. And they are going to protect this connection. They said they want you. This person wants you. And they're willing to fight anybody. Five of Wands. Anybody that gets in the way. People may try to stop this person. But they like get back, get back, get back. That's my peace. That's my peace, right? Yeah. These people here don't want this person to offer you this love, but he's coming in as a knight of cups. He's coming in with proposals. This could be that that reading if you go back where I said someone is trying to prevent another person from, from doing a secret engagement. They're going to do it anyway. They say, this is my happiness. Ooh, knight of cups facing the queen of cups. Go ahead, go ahead. Go get yours. Bump that. Family and friends and shit get all jealous and shit when they see you on to something, when they see you find happiness. They be like, no, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Guess what? Guess what? Family don't sleep with you at night. I mean, family is there, but when it comes down to the, to the thick of it, don't you want somebody you want to grow old with? Because they're going to have somebody they grow old with. Like, seriously. Sometimes family can kiss your ass. Like, Seriously. Especially if you found your happiness. How are you going to tell me don't go be happy when I tell you that's my happiness? That's crazy as hell. That's jealousy. It's envy. Sometimes people don't want to see other people move on or see other people change or move from one area to a better area. People don't want to see people change. Change the way they look, think, walk, dress. Get the fuck out of here. People crazy as hell. How about how about you tell your family, hey, family, let me go be happy. I contact you in a, in a year, and then I invite you to my happiness. Family be shocked as fuck. They be like, dang, you are happy. Yeah, absolutely. Try to tell y'all asses. Happiness is, not, happiness is not found in a four-mile radius because of where you grew up. I know everybody. I know everybody. Everybody know me. Everybody know me. You know what? I don't want nobody to know me. Not in my neighborhood. I need you to hear about me. 
Did you hear about Debbie? <laughs> Did you hear about Debbie? Because each and every time it's going to be good. But I don't need to see you in my face. I don't need the hood where I grew up from in my backyard. No. No. I don't even go visit the hood. The fuck? For what? For what? Hood needs to come here. Don't be letting people hold you back, pull you back, whoever this is. Family don't want it to happen, and it said it in a previous reading. Move the hell on. Let family stay in that four-mile radius. Go find your happiness. Go be in love. Bump it. Look at you not holding yourself back. Hello. Don't hold yourself back. Don't hold yourself back. Family wants you, wherever you were, wherever family is, there's no emotional fulfillment there. I keep telling you. I keep telling you. I'm going to tell you something, guys. Put your earphones on right now. One, 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 one. I'm going to tell you. Family can't fuck you to sleep. I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it. They can't. There's just some things. Family got your back. I can help you with some bills and this and that. But I'm going to tell you guys, there's just another level of self-satisfaction that you need from a loved one that your family can't give it to you. And you know what I mean? Y'all can have those nights. Y'all drinking y'all wine. It's your best friend. Y'all hanging out. Hell, y'all can do things that family will never know about. That's what that is. Family, stop, stop people from getting into their love thing. That's a higher than in reverse. Somebody gonna end something. Go and follow your intuition. Go get your love thing. They have to end something or they did end it with that baby's mama up there. And they're not going to hold themselves back because, look, although I have a child with you, I am not emotionally fulfilled. I'm not happy here. They had that moment. That child was supposed to come here. Yes, it was. That was their moment. And it was probably a glorious moment. You know, it was probably a glorious moment. But that doesn't mean I have to be with that person. No, it doesn't. Family... You better back up off me. Stop judging me. And stop judging my new person or whoever the hell I'm trying to be with. And stop getting mad that I want to go live in the suburbs. <laughs> and go get my gift from spirit. Okay? Stop getting mad, family, that you're going to have to take a train or a ride to come get to me. Okay? Family. Okay? I want to union up. Family. Don't get mad that I want to go be in the suburbs. Family. I don't want to live in a four mile radius. I don't want to live in a hood no anymore. I don't want zip code, bop ba doop, bop ba doop, bop boop. Let people change. Stop. They walking away. Family, there's nothing here. They got to go. And it's going to break some hearts in the family. And it is. And it's probably going to hurt that baby mama. And it is. But guys, look. Baby mama, your child. And look at the person. They coming forward to and They fighting anybody. Night of sword. Baby mama, don't worry. Your child can come. Your child can come visit and they'll tell you all about the suburbs. <laughs> I know I be messing with y'all. I be messing with y'all. But you know what? That's what I do. <laughs> I create the storyline and there it is. That's somebody's story. It is. It's somebody's story. Read the comments. I can put money on it. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. I love y'all. Peace.